What's going on guys? Matt Wasik here coming at you with a brand new video and a lot of you guys are making a lot of mistakes when it comes to your local affiliate SEO sites or your paper call sites, lead gen sites, whatever you want to call them. Basically, a website you rank in the organic search results to get traffic from there and monetize that traffic with either phone calls that come through that get routed to whatever that business is or sending information through the contact forms. So a subscriber sent me his website. We're going to take a look at that here in just a minute on my computer. I'm going to show you guys some of the mistakes that I'm sure some of you guys may be making that not only will hinder your results in terms of ranking, but also drastically, drastically affect the conversion rate of your websites because it's one thing to just get the ranking, but then you got to one, get the click from the search result and then you have to convert to that click as well which is extremely important because otherwise your website's not making you any money so let's get into my computer and take a look at this site all right so we're here in my computer and we're taking a look at my subscriber site that is in the water damage niche and actually first before we get into the site and taking a look at it and all that i want to say a couple things first so whenever I've done these videos in the past, I've never really been that nice about it. If I'm gonna be taking a look at somebody's work that they're putting out there for the market to determine what's going to essentially sell, I'm not going to be nice about it because the truth is not always nice. So this isn't gonna be sunshine and rainbows like some people you might see on YouTube that will take a look at their subscribers website or business model or whatever it is that they're doing and they'll say, oh yeah, it looks great, even though it looks like complete garbage. So picture my advice similar to like a drill sergeant or probably Bill Belichick of the New England Patriots. He doesn't look like he probably gives much uh, friendly advice. It's probably more like you need to fix this or you're fired. So it's essentially the same thing with the market. When you put something out for the market to decide whether or not they want to purchase that particular thing, which for any type of local SEO thing is actually pretty simple because these people that are coming to your site most likely are already interested in what it is that your website offers. So it doesn't take a whole lot more to convince them to want to convert. But if you don't do that, your website's not gonna make any money. And I care about the people that take my information from my channel here, about them getting results because if they don't, they're just wasting their time. So I'm not gonna be nice, bottom line. Let's get to it. All right, so to start things off right away, this cartoony image, in my opinion, this just doesn't work, especially for a niche like this, where the matter of the service needing to be done is very serious. So this is not a time when it's friendly and, and playful and that sort of stuff. Because obviously when someone's got water damage, they probably just had a flood or they just had a fire or something really bad that happened and they need help to get to that solved. So scrap that, just get some pictures from Pixabay or if you can afford stock photos from whatever, any of those sites, go get those. This picture here though is definitely set up for plumbing. Guys holding a pipe wrench and a plunger. They don't use this stuff with water damage restoration. They use dryers and dehumidifiers and all kinds of big stuff like that. So that needs to go right away. So right away, this name here, Water Resto One, you just get rid of it. Obviously, I get that you want to have a name and that sort of stuff, but if someone calls and they're going to ask, is this Water Resto, they're going to ask, is that the company name? So just change that to just Water Damage Restoration because then when whoever answers the phone says, oh no, this is whatever, we route you, whatever, people are going to be confused and they're going to hang up, so it's going to kill conversions. So just fix that, just change it to Water Damage Restoration or something generic location-based. So the next thing that I noticed right away is that it looks like you have four different fonts right here. That being the logo here, all these states, which we'll get into in a minute, these do not belong here at all. And then you have the water damage text here is another font and then got damage, we will fix it, which is another font. And I'm also going to be a stickler with grammar because it needs to make sense. This is what people that are in the United States, and I believe this subscriber is not located in the US. So I understand English is not their first language and it's a very difficult language to to learn and to use, especially in a sales aspect like this. But got damage, capital G, this needs to be lowercase d, comma, which this should be a question mark, then a capital, which should be lower. Unless there's a question mark, then this would be capitalized. But you also need to pick one single font and stick with it through the whole site. Just pick one of the easy ones. Lotto is a great one. Open Sans is another one and just make sure that it stays consistent throughout the entire site. Now this menu here is just awful. This should not be here at all. What this should be here is just your core pages. You're about get a quote, services, service area, and then maybe the phone number at the end of it. So these state names should not be here at all. They do not belong in the top menu like this. And also you need to get rid of these abbreviations with parentheses. That's not how the state is written out. And when someone sees that, they're gonna be like, what is going on with this? This makes no sense at all. All right, so now for the second section here, right away I see that the menu is sticky, which is cool, but it's obviously way too big. This is like 20% of the screen and I'm on a 21 inch 
uh, screen. So if you're someone's on a laptop that's like 13 inches, it's going to take up way too much. And again, there's too much content in the menu. It should only be like the five main things or six main things. So we covered that just a second ago. But now we get to this other section. And this background here is absolutely atrocious. It's basically this logo, which is really poorly done. I've said it so many times, just go over to legit. It's like 10 bucks for a logo and get one made professionally or don't even have one at all. Either, either go with something that's good and professionally designed or don't have it at all. And then it's all pixelated. So that just, it looks bad, at least on my screen. You might, you might not be able to see that here on this screen, but the Scooby-Doo van, let's get into this here with the logo on it and it's like a it looks like it's a business card a gigantic business card plastered onto the side of a van which this is garbage i'm sorry this is absolutely terrible there's even the caption written beneath the photo this should just be alt text this shouldn't be seen you shouldn't this shouldn't be visible at all this should be water damage restoration as the alt text we need to talk about this scooby-doo van that's here in this photo what this tells me is that this person does not understand how this business operates and what type of tools they use. And I need to get into a rant because a lot of you guys do this. A lot of you guys don't understand how these businesses work. You just want to throw together a website, slap it up on the internet and just watch it rake in money. And I know I, I'm okay. I'm a little bit biased on this in terms of the knowledge that I'm able to bring because I, I basically spent 11 years of my life immersed in the landscaping industry with over half of that time spent as an owner of an outdoor services company and meeting contractors in the same industry, meeting contractors in other industries. And I really was able to know how these businesses operate. So I'm coming to the table with an upper hand when it comes to the knowledge of the industry. I'm able to communicate that better on my sites that I build. And you guys need to do this exact same thing. I've seen so many people, so many people come to me and message me, how do I get to X amount per month with the site, but I'm a complete beginner and I don't know anything about how these businesses work. That's the same thing as someone going to a Lamborghini dealership and interviewing to get a job selling Lamborghinis and they say, I wanna make $20,000 a month selling these cars, but I don't wanna know the names of the models, I don't wanna know the horsepower, I don't wanna know the torque facts, I don't wanna know anything about the cards whatsoever. I don't want to know about any potential problems, any type of warranty. I don't want to know any of that stuff. I don't even want to barely know how to sell the car itself to the person who's already interested in it. Because obviously if someone's showing up at a Lamborghini dealership, they are already interested in that brand of cars. It's the same thing here. If someone's interested in water damage or whatever service, they are already interested in it because they're at the website. But those people are only focused on making the money rather than actually learning the skill set and learning and being able to produce something of value that someone else is going to benefit and in exchange for producing that value, you get the money that comes with it. You guys need to go out there and I'm not gonna say immerse yourself, but you at least need to know how these businesses operate. There are forums out there for these contractors where they hang out all the time and you can go there. You don't even have to talk to anybody. You just gotta go and research and see how their business works. An even better way of doing this would be going to YouTube because for just about every single home service niche under the sun, there are contractors out there that vlog their business life and, and operating their business, especially if it's the guys that are still like operating in the field with the work that they do, they'll bring their camera along with them. And then you can see exactly what they do because then you understand how the business actually works and how to solve the people's problem, which that problem is these people need this particular service. So stop being lazy and put a little bit of effort into learning the trade that it is that you're trying to sell. And I promise that the conversion rate of your websites is going to skyrocket. Now for this other content here, emergency response team available. This is another font. It makes no sense. We got these parentheses here. It says water resto one, then water damage restoration in parentheses underneath. This makes absolutely no sense. It's just really, really bad. Go and take a look at some of your competition that you're trying to compete against, which is basically any of these companies in these states and see how they structure their content. And again, I know that English is probably not your first language, so it might be tough, but you're gonna have to learn this. If you want to sell things to people in the US, where the primary language is English, you have to know it. So I'm not even gonna really break down this text, but again, you don't wanna have water resto one here because people are gonna call and say, is this water resto one? And they're gonna be confused when they say, no, this is whatever. So this other thing though to note, where it's oddly, it's a note, it says, give us your two minutes, then a colon and then a dash, which those don't belong together in former, in proper writing. But you never say to a consumer, hey, give us some of your, give us a moment of your time and we'll be able to help you. Just don't say that at all. Just 
state that, hey, give us a call and we can help or something of the sort. That's what, at least in this niche, if it's something like remodeling, it's not going to be give us a call and we can help. It's basically, it would be give us a call and we can take your dreams and turn them into reality. So this is just really bad. Have a happy restoration. Thank you. Is this a letter? Is this a letter that someone's writing? I, what is going on here? So Man, this is this is rough. This is rough. You really just got to go take a look at some of the competition and see what they have and model it. Don't take it, model it. And then there's a call now button, which is okay. It's fine. And then it looks like we have like a cartoon character from the Three Stooges, fast around the clock response time. These the words aren't capitalized. All these words need to be capitalized. And these these tools and all this stuff it just doesn't make sense, especially because the spacing here as well. This image is bigger than all of these. So it pushes this text further, which makes it look really bad. It's also doesn't look like it's centered compared to the rest of the stuff. Okay, so now on to this next section, and it looks extremely bad. The color here in the background makes no sense. It doesn't have any significance to the colors from up top or anything like that. You want to have consistent colors. So look again through your competition, see what they have. A lot of restoration companies are going to use red and blue and white in their color scheme. So again, look and see what they have. But this again is like four different fonts in this one section. It says, why choose water rest of one service? And then a question mark that's a, that's a different color. And it looks like it's a smaller size maybe than this text. So 24 seven emergency response. That's okay. That's all right. Water resto one again, get rid of that name. Just say we offer 24 hour emergency water removal and restoration services. But then this is not right at all with a ASAP response time. So that is basically like saying with a, as soon as possible response time, that's 100% broken English. So that needs to be fixed to not even having the word ASAP in there, just say something like with a prompt response time, much easier to say. I would just remove this satisfaction guarantee because again, you're not the end service provider. So there's really no way to guarantee that. And uh, this here, we work hard to have your property back to how it was first. So that's not what you want to say. I would say our technicians work efficiently or effectively to restore your property back to its pre loss condition. That is how you want to word it for these types of niches. So let's read more here. I know that this link goes to like some type of forum. You don't want to send someone from your homepage off your website ever, because then you can just kiss that conversion goodbye, especially because the website that they're being sent to is a gigantic forum where something is going to distract them and then they're going to just completely forget about what they were doing. So this counter here, I would really just remove it because it makes no sense. I mean, success rate 3008, that, that makes no sense. The success rate is a percentage. So just remove that altogether. So then this background is back once again, terrible. And this photo or clip art, whatever this is with like a 21. I don't even know what this is. And then of course it's got the title caption right there. This should be alt text. And we have, looks like people mining for coins. I don't, I don't even know what they're doing. That's got to go. That has nothing to do with this niche. Water resto one is a trusted leader in water damage service. And then I don't know what this text here is for. That makes no sense. Futuristic equipments. Equipments is not the way you describe plural equipment. It would be pieces of equipment, but what you'd say here is just industrial equipment and uh, speed is key. We understand that time is money. That's, that's not what you want to have on these types of websites because these people that are usually getting this service had some sort of issue. They don't really care about money because insurance in many cases covers it. So what you need to do is essentially find empathy with them and say that we know how tragic a flood in the basement can be or whatever the case may be. Not time is money because time is money applies to maybe selling something to a business that allows them to operate more efficiently. Expertly trained technicians. That's, that's not even close to grammatical English. And if someone reads that, they're going to be like, what, who built this website? They're going to be so confused. So scrap this. And also if you're going to be having these types of content here, this is like a big split. We have two pieces of content, and then nothing underneath. And then we have a whole bunch of stuff underneath. And this text here, you can't even read it with the dark background. 
so a lot of things need to be fixed. I would recommend removing the testimonies altogether. These stars do not matter. This The water damage restoration success rate bar, that's not what you're doing. And if a company that restores people's houses or their properties after water damage, if they didn't have a 100% success rate, then that means people's houses would still have water sitting in them. So that this bar makes no sense. The only time you'd have this type of bar as if you're using it as a tool to speed them along the checkout process on like an e-commerce store. So remove all of this whole thing right here. All of this should be gone. And these social media icons should be down here in the footer next to this other stuff. So, so there's a lot of work to be done that you must do because this site is not anywhere near going to convert anybody. I mean, it might convert somebody if they're really, really desperate and you're ranking number one and they don't care to scroll through anything else. But man, so this state page here is an absolute disaster. This should state Michigan water damage restoration. And again, you should not have this parenthesis with the abbreviation. It makes no sense. I don't know if this city is Detroit, but you better make sure that it is Detroit or the people from Detroit are going to see this here and they're going to realize, oh, that's not Detroit. What, what is going on with this website? And so then what you want to be doing is we're just remove this whole paragraph right here and just state that we serve these communities throughout Michigan. And then you have your list of all your cities here. Then down here at the bottom, you have just a bunch of keywords stuffed in there. And this is this doesn't work anymore in SEO. It used to work where you could just blast keywords and just stuff them in there like that, but it doesn't work anymore. This is, this is trash content. I have not checked the indexing of your site, but I would be shocked if this page actually got indexed. So it doesn't look like you have any links to any service pages yet. I can just check here at the Missouri page and see if there are any links to this one. No, no links at all. So I'm not going to go through the rest of the state pages. It's just unnecessary at this point. So some last recommendations for you watching, whether it's the guy here whose site this is, or it's you watching my channel. What I would recommend doing is either condensing this site down to a single city focused site. So you can optimize and fix some of the meta title, meta description and that sort of stuff, and just leave the domain as it is. But it's going to take hundreds and thousands of hours to build out content on each one of these city pages for all of these states when there are a lot of them. So either condense it down to one city, put City Page Pro on this particular site if you wanted to do that, but some of the URLs, because I'm sure some of these state pages are already kind of goofed up and City Page Pro has its own way of doing it. Or what you could do is since you have not built any of these city pages is use Magic Page Plugin. Then you have the ability to link from these state pages to the city pages that are built with Magic Page Plugin, and it'll have the unique content and all that sort of stuff. And it will save you thousands of hours of work from having to go out and manually create all this content. So those are my suggestions. That'd be the easiest way to go about it, or you can just condense it down to one city. So the thing with building out a national site is that you're going to have to invest a good chunk of change into links. And also, if you're not gonna be using a tool to build out a bunch of pages, you're gonna have to spend a crap ton of time and probably a lot of money on content creation as well, because it has to be good content. You can't have a repeat of that homepage on all these city pages and expect to rank for thousands of different keywords. So hopefully this is helpful for you watching as well as you, the site owner. If you got this far into the video, I'd appreciate it if you went down below, dropped a like on this video. And if you're not already a part of our ever growing family, go down below, smash the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. So you know when the newest content comes live here on the channel. And if you want to get more training that's step-by-step -step and guided through the whole process, there are links right down below to our courses where you can get access to the training that teaches you exactly how to build a website, rank that website and monetize it with a local affiliate offer. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.